Hello YouTube. You can see my shadow. That looks weird. Well, um, what's going on YouTube? Um, I am going to do a video on Squadron Leader. Um, also, I don't know if you could tell, but I shaved. I shaved the beard, it was getting just too much, it was looking very puby, um, and so I had to get rid of it. Um, not that anybody really cares, I'm sure. But, uh, okay, so, Samuel Gallus Squadron Leader, um, my noob, my noob impressions on Squadron Leader. Hmm. It's, it's light on a lot of Kia comparatively to other Englishes that I've smoked. Um, which in my mind it's a good thing because so, it, it makes for a good all day smoke. Um, you could really, um, really just have this in your pipe all day. Um, super tasty. I, I, I feel like it's it's well balanced because um, sometimes a lot of Kia for me gets a little too intense On that first light, I kind of, I got almost like a citrusy um, Virginia taste. You definitely feel the feel a lot of key in the in the nasal region. When I first got the ten, and I and I cracked it open, it was definitely very moist, a little too moist for my liking. Um, so I kind of had to let it dry for a little bit. I just kept it in the tin. But really, it's a, a really tasty tobacco. Um, every Samuel Goweth blend that I've tried has been really good. Um, especially, um, I'm going to be doing a video on this right here. Uh, springtime flake it's a vapor I have not seen one single review on it uh, so I've been smoking the shit out of this stuff too and then also I got maybe perhaps some of you guys have heard of this Samuel Gauss 1792 super intense uh, Virginia Burley flake um, So yeah, um, really, I really enjoy uh, Squadron Leader. I know it's a lot of people's favorites. Um, as far as Englishes go, this is probably up there for me. Um, also got my mixture 965. I'll be doing a video on that. Um, so definitely for, for anybody who's like a newbie like myself and kind of want to, you want to try some Englishes, uh, this one would be a good one to start out with because like I said, it's it's a little bit lighter on the Latakia, so it's not as overpowering.
good shit. Um, also, uh, I got a new pipe. A buddy of mine, I guess, had found this, and so he just gave it to me. Um, I'm not sure on who the maker is, but it's uh, now become my aromatic pipe. Let's see if you can see the little. It's got some cool engravings on it. It is a deep bowl. About right here. It's about two inches deep. Um, so also, uh, the 1792, man, it is fucking strong. It, uh, it will knock you on your ass. I mean, Jesus, you could see, you could just see, like, the crystals... I, don't, I, I it probably can't do it justice on here. Can you see those crystals on there? Kinda. But Jesus, that is a, ooh, that is heavy duty. Um, you almost get kind of like a, a chocolatey smell to it, and also a, a chocolatey taste. Uh, when I first lit it up. Um, when I first lit it up, it was pleasant. It was uh, it was good. Um, it was strong, but it was good. Uh, as I got deeper into the bowl, um, it started being uh, too strong. Um, it was intense. Um, so what I've been doing was uh, I've been. Um, I went to a local uh, cigar shop and had they had some aromatic bulk aromatics. So I got this vanilla custard, and so I've just been doing a layering method. A little layer of the vanilla custard, uh, 1792. A little bit of vanilla custard, 1792. Um, vanilla custard, and then on the top I have the 1792, and it's been really good. Um, the vanilla kind of balances out that chocolatey taste um, pretty tasty sorry about going on tangents um, I, uh, I have ADD so you'll have to forgive me um, just trying to make this video my girlfriend's coming over oh I got a girlfriend um, she's fucking amazing maybe one of these days she'll get on a video with me but um, so What's new? Uh, on Sunday, I celebrated two years sober, um, which is absolutely ridiculous to think about. Yeah, I can't. I, <laughs> if you would have known me two years ago. Um, you, it's a totally different person uh, that's talking to you right now. Um, I just can't, I can't really even put it into words. Uh, it's amazing. In and out. I don't know if uh, you guys over there in the Midwest. Or you guys down south uh, have an in and out, but oof, you're missing out. You're missing in, and you're missing out. Mm. So, I mean, yeah. So, back to uh, the squadron later. Like I said, a really good uh, all-day smoke. Um, super tasty. Uh, I, I keep hearing, also, I keep hearing some things about, um, about Hobbit Sweet. I've been wanting to, like, I've had a couple of aromatics and they've been like, eh, like that vanilla custard, I'll, you know, I'll just use it to cut the, cut the 1792, um, but, uh, I hear, I hear a lot about Hobbit Sweet, um, and also, um, Strauss Tobacco and Sleepy Hollow. Um, I don't know, 
I think uh, the Tewksbury has a website, so I might be ordering some of the Hobbit's weed, but I don't know how to get that Sleepy Hollow. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. I've been smoking this um, springtime flake so much uh, that the uh, squadron later, I'm really, uh, I'm really getting that uh, loud of Kia. But anyways, I'm rambling on. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you to the subscribers. Uh, again, I say this all the time. If there's anything that uh, I can do to make your viewing experience better. Um, let me know. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.